Hi, this is Dr. Tom Taylor. Now John's story is very different. He'd been diagnosed with bipolar disorder and was facing the prospect of taking medication for the rest of his life. Neither John nor his wife were excited about the potential side effects of medication which could have made him emotionally flat. So instead of vacillating from the extremes of manic depression, he might show little emotion at all. The key to John's condition was his bipolar mother's behavior that she modeled in front of him throughout his childhood. She had to be forcibly taken from the home to a mental hospital several times during his youth. Now John was demonstrating the same wild extremes of emotion and behavior in his own family. While John's doctors focused on a chemical imbalance in his brain as the cause of his condition, a critical question was never asked. What caused the chemical imbalance in the first place? John's family history or genetics became convenient excuses, but he was simply repeating what he had observed throughout his childhood. That was his normal, and it was all he knew how to do. Memory reframing enabled John to restore a reasonable temperament and save his marriage, not by strength of will, but by reframing the memory of his mother's behavior, realizing that her issues belonged to her alone, not to him. John couldn't have arrived at this profoundly freeing realization as a child, but John succeeded in reframing his memory and writing over the engrams of his childhood. John also came to the stunning realization that his upbringing had been entirely worth the anxiety he experienced as a child. In fact, John actually became thankful for the pain of his upbringing because it brought him ultimately to the relationships that he treasured the most, daughters who worshipped him and a wife who loved him completely. John's gratitude for the precious jewels in his life literally overwhelmed his former anxiety. His first memory reframing process took less than 30 minutes. We worked together a few more times over the next month or so, and John continued reframing memories on his own that inevitably surfaced as he lived his life. John avoided taking medication and lives happily today with his wife and children. His experience contains a massive key to your own healing. When you are more thankful, truly grateful, for situations or relationships that you wish hadn't happened than you were ever hurt by them, you're free. Instead of sadness and regret, your memories will produce more gratitude because who you are and where you are today was only made possible by every step you took throughout your life and every step was worth whatever it cost. Of course, you never have to repeat your past, but feeling more thankful for the steps that made your life today possible transforms pain into joy and regret into triumph. Here's what you need to do now. Click the link in the description of this video and sign up for this empowering experience. Click the link and sign up now.